Hey guys, Lan here on Grady's Mom. I'm starting a new week of what we had for dinner. So like everybody else, we are on quarantine to just stay home. So I'm working with what I have. I am doing some chicken breast. I thawed, I took these out of the freezer last night and let them thaw in the fridge overnight. So they're perfect um, and ready to be marinated. So it's the morning right now. So I like to let my chicken breast marinate all night or all day. So this is the McCormick Grill Mates Korean Barbecue Marinade. I've had this before. It's really good. So I'm just going to get this packet ready to pour over the chicken, let it marinate all day. And then tonight we are going to grill it, even though it's going to be pretty chilly. Um, by tonight it should only be in like the 40s, but we're still going to grill. And so yeah, I'm just going to get this ready to go in the fridge. And then of course I will show you later when we have dinner. All right, so to go along with the chicken, I'm gonna do some veggie skewers using some tomatoes, zucchini, red onion, and these are baby bella mushrooms. So I have my skewer stick soaking in the water. This prevents them from burning. And I'm just gonna let these soak and then go ahead and assemble the skewers. So it was really nice to grill the chicken and the skewers. The weather here has been so crazy. One day it's like 50, sunny and perfect. And the next day we are literally having a blizzard and a huge snowstorm. But anyways, I made some of the Walmart brand Great Value Potato Wedges. Matt had some of those with two of the veggie skewers and a chicken breast. And I had the same thing, but I had three of the veggie skewers and less of the wedges because I could just eat the veggie skewers. They're so good. Hey guys, I'm about to throw some whole artichokes into the crock pot and sort of steam them. So what I did was I had two large artichokes. So what you wanna do if you wanna try to do this at home is cut the bottom stem off so that it can sit flat and then you're gonna wanna cut the top part off which is just like this part so that the like leaves are exposed. So I'm just gonna cut the top and bottom off of this one and then I'll show you what I do in the crock pot. All right, so I've got my crock pot liner in. This is my medium crock pot. I have a large one. This is like a medium, I think it's like a four quart one, but I'm only doing two artichokes. These are pretty old, not old, but like I should have made this a week ago. I just forgot with all the chaos going on. So I hope they come out okay. Um, I cut the top and the bottom off like I said. I put about two cups of water in the bottom. You can also use like veggie broth or chicken broth, but I just use the water um, just to help them cook better. And then I'm gonna drizzle these with EVOO, salt, pepper, and garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that on and I'll show you what they look like before I put the top on. Okay, so EVOO, salt, pepper, garlic, and I'm gonna let these cook on high for about four hours. And I'll show you, of course, how they come out when they're done. Hopefully they come out okay. All right, so here is how the artichokes look after about four hours um, cooking in the crock pot on high. So if you've never eaten an artichoke, what you do is you pull the leaves off and you eat this part, like you scrape it with your teeth. There's actually a whole bunch of videos, believe it or not, on how to eat artichoke because honestly, a lot of it sounds funny, but a lot of people who have never eaten one don't know. Um, so yeah, you just pull off the leaves and then you scrape the white part with your teeth. I know that sounds weird, but I grew up eating these when my grandmother was alive. She passed in 2001, um, and my mom makes them occasionally. But yeah, I really like them. They taste really good. They just, in my opinion, need a little bit of salt. Um, so I'll just put a little salt on mine. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a side tonight with dinner. I have chicken enchiladas in the oven, so I'll show you what everything looks like when it's plated up. All right, guys, so here is how the plates look. I did my chicken enchiladas a little bit different. Um, I don't know if I've ever made my chicken enchiladas like on, like assembled them in a dinner video. I might have. Usually I make beef, but I made chicken because I have an excess of it. So I did shredded chicken. I used the old El Paso um, El enchilada sauce, sharp cheddar. Uh, chilies and in the chicken ones I had some brown rice left over just a little so I actually added the brown rice you can see a little bit here I mixed it in with the chicken and the sauce and the reason why they look so sloppy is because I did not let the pan rest 
for about five to 10 minutes before I scoop them out. Normally I wait so they look prettier, but I didn't wait today and that's why they look kind of sloppy, but it's fine because I'm starving. So we're gonna eat with the artichokes on the side. I know it's kind of random, but I had to use them up before they got any older. But this is our dinner tonight and we will see you tomorrow. So this night I was making meatloaf. I had some ground beef. I put in some sharp cheddar, some red onion, panko breadcrumb, garlic, and an egg. I just kind of mashed it all together, put it into a baking uh, like tray, and then I didn't have any barbecue sauce, so I was using this tomato and chili fancy kind of sauce. I had just enough left and I thought why not use it up because I always like to put some kind of a sauce, whether it's ketchup, whether it's barbecue sauce or something on top of my meatloaf. I just really like the glaze and crust it makes and it just also tastes really good as well. So I just put that on there, brush it all over the top and then I went ahead and put the meatloaf in the oven and baked it until it was nice and golden brown on top. So this night I was making some shepherd's pie, so I had a 9 by 13 baking dish already sprayed with cooking spray because it just makes cleanup a lot easier. I poured in my filling and then I added my mashed potatoes on top. I actually did not have any milk or half and half. Normally I add that into my mashed potatoes, so I didn't have any and I wasn't about to run out just for that. So the potatoes were a little bit thicker than usual. I did add butter, salt and pepper, all that good stuff. But normally with the milk or half and half, it makes the texture easier to work with. So that was a little downfall, but hey, you got to do what you got to do to keep moving forward. So I spread the potatoes on top. It was a little bit tricky and I ended up using a butter knife to get them flatter. I added some sharp cheddar and a bunch of smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika on top of shepherd's pie and it was super delicious. I do have a cooking video on this recipe that I did a long time ago. I can link it down below in the description box, and it's also always linked in my cooking video playlist. So as you can see, we had a ton here, and it was super delicious. This night, I decided to do breakfast for dinner using some corned beef hash from a can, and I just put four eggs into the same pan and let them kind of steam. I like this brand here, Hormel Mary's Kitchen. been using it for years. I get it every once in a while. And I really wanted to use up these Eggo Blueberry French Toast little bread things in my freezer. They're okay. I would not repurchase them, but I was able to use up the box, which was what I wanted. So we each had two slices of French toast. I actually only ate one. I'm just don't really love it. And then we had the corned beef with the eggs and I put some hot sauce on top and this was our dinner tonight. So this night I was at my parents' house. My whole family was there. My mom, my dad, my husband, my son, my brother, my sister, which is pretty rare. And my brother was actually cooking dinner for all of us, which is also pretty rare and a treat. He was making his chicken, bacon, tomato, ranch pasta with broccoli. Normally he does not add broccoli, but my mom requested broccoli and it was actually really good in there. So again, it's chicken, bacon, ranch, tomato, broccoli, pasta. And it was delicious. And he did put other ingredients in there besides those, like different spices and things. But he just put the penne pasta, tossed it all together. It was super delicious with some red pepper flake and cracked black pepper. I hope you enjoyed this week's What's for Dinner video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.